This video will demonstrate how to create a parallel dilution set. To begin, you will need a stock solution of the chemical with a known concentration, a solvent, a vial and cuvette for each solution you plan to create in the set, and your micropipettes and tips. To start, make a table in Excel listing the milliliters of stock solution, milliliters of solvent, concentration, and a column for absorbance for each dilution. You should make three to five different dilutions for the most accurate results. To determine the concentration of each solution, you can use the following equation. Where C sub S is the concentration of the stock solution, V sub S is the volume of the stock solution, and V sub D is the total volume of the diluted solution. In our example, C sub S is 4.03 times 10 to the minus 5. V sub S will vary for each solution, as shown in the table, and V sub D is 5 milliliters. 5 mils total volume was chosen since a cuvette holds approximately 3 mils. Filling in the concentrations we calculated, our table now looks like this. Once you know the concentrations of each solution, it is very important to label your vials and cuvettes. Some dilution sets vary so little you may not be able to tell the difference by looking at them. Next, create your solutions using the appropriate micropipette. Be sure to use a fresh tip every time you change from your stock solution to your solvent. Here is our finished set of solutions. As you can see, each one is slightly different. Next, fill each cuvette approximately two-thirds full. Be sure to double-check your labels. You will also need a cuvette containing just your solvent. You are now ready to begin taking absorbance readings. Plug the spectrometer into your computer and open Logger Pro. A rainbow background will appear. Choose Experiment, Calibrate, Spectrometer 1. In the dialog box, you can click Skip Warm-Up if the spectrometer has been on for 90 seconds. Using the cuvette with your solvent, wipe it with a Kim wipe and place it in the spectrometer. Click Finish Calibration, wait until it's done, and then choose OK. Choose the stock solution cuvette, wipe it, place it in the spectrometer, and click the green collect arrow. Wait a few seconds and click stop. Choose your next solution and repeat the process being sure to choose store latest run or you'll lose your former data. Repeat this until you have a reading for each of your solutions. Once you have absorbance readings for all your solutions, Click the Examine icon and move the line to the point of maximum absorbance or lambda max. You will be able to see the absorbance values for all the solutions. Transfer these values into your Excel table. If you have a solution of unknown concentration, take a reading of it at the same time as your known solutions. Here you can see our unknown looks like it's between our created dilutions with concentrations of 1.61 times 10 to the minus 5 and 2.42 times 10 to the minus 5. Knowing their absorbances are 0.389 and 0.572, let's see what our unknown is. Hey, it's 0.488, exactly what we expected. Using the concentration and absorbance columns, you can create a graph of your data. By adding the trend line, and its equation, you will have the information you need to use Beer's Law. For more detailed information, we recommend watching the Excel Graphing Technical Guide, Absorption Spectroscopy Technical Guide, and Beer's Law and its application videos in the Chemical Thinking Laboratory channel on YouTube. Good luck, and thanks for watching!